It is my honor to introduce to you Phyllis Rush, wife of past Grand Monarch Robert W. Rush, to present the past Grand Monarch Robert Rush Award to Tom Anderson as this year's Dr. Smiles of the Year. It is with great pleasure and honor to present this award to you on behalf of our family and also congratulate you on all the wonderful work you do with the children here in Daytona. Thank you very much. Yeah. May our hearts be filled with sympathy for those in illness and adversity. May we make this world a better place in which to live through the thoughtfulness and consideration of the welfare of others. I worked for IBM and uh, advanced systems in the, uh, in the computers. And uh, when I retired in uh, 1982, and then of course when I moved to Florida, I uh, decided uh, that I ought to join the, the local grotto. And I guess it was about three years later I was monarch. So <laughs> things move quickly. The Doctor Smiles is a key position in the local grotto. He is the facilitator with the parents, dentists, and hospitals when necessary to see that the application is filed properly with the Humanitarian Foundation office. He also keeps the local grotto informed of the progress of the treatment and completion for the child they are sponsoring. Tom has uh, been the Doctor Smiles for Zangai Grotto in excess of 20 years. And as a member of Zangai Grotto, and I think I can speak for all of the members of Zangai Grotto, we're very proud of Tom. Uh, he sometimes gets a little cantankerous. Uh, things don't go the way he wants them, uh, but he's in there pushing, pushing, pushing for those children who need uh, assistance uh, that are special needs children. Tom does a great job. It's in 1987 when I, I started this, so. Uh, one of these days I'm going to have to quit <laughs> because I've, I've enjoyed doing it it's, uh, and it doesn't take that much time really, uh, uh, a few hours uh, on a Saturday morning to, to get all the paperwork done for the week, but other than that, why it's not so bad. A few phone calls here and there. Well, I'm not entirely sure he works on Saturday mornings only. He works every day at it. With phone calls and paperwork, I'll find him at his desk every morning. Well, you know, if I tell people it's a, it's a lot of work, but I'll never find a replacement. <laughs> this particular population of special needs kids generally has a difficult time finding uh, dentists to, to treat them because they can be a challenge. They take up extra time. Um, they can be loud occasionally. They can cry occasionally. And uh, I mean, it, it, it takes extra time and effort and patience to deal with some of these children. But uh, the good fortune to interact with uh, Tom over the years, about 20 years now, um, he's a great guy who's absolutely been phenomenal um, helping us treat these children. He's a behind the scenes guy. He doesn't say much. Uh, he, but anytime we need anything with Tom Anderson, it is done and it is done extremely quickly and well. And um, I, I just love dealing with, with, with the children and the families. Uh, involved with the Grotto organization. Hey, good. <laughs> it's been great work, working with some of these kids, and uh, there's one case I, I think of particularly. Uh, the wife of uh, one of our members uh, was uh, teaching one of these kids. Uh, she had a uh, young man, uh, I guess he's 15, 16 years old, and he wouldn't smile because he, uh, he had broken his two front teeth. And uh, we managed to get those fixed. And uh, I got word back that, you know, his whole personality changed just because we were able to help. We have uh, uh, worked to assist Tom in getting the necessary funds so that the child can be taken care of. Uh, Tom is certainly uh, an asset to Zangai Grotto and he does an excellent job as Dr. Smiles.
we have people all over the state that, that look to him for advice on how to process these cases and how to get, get these things taken care of for the benefit of the kids. Uh, he just does a wonderful job, and he's a good Dr. Smiles, and uh, he's absolutely the best in North America. <laughs> Congratulations, Tom. Dear Grottos of North America, on behalf of my family, we extend a sincere and grateful thank you. Your organization has helped both of my boys over the years. As a mother of two children with Fragile X Syndrome, I am overwhelmed with gratitude for all that you do for children with special needs. Thank you for allowing them this small bit of peace in their uneasy world. Sincerely, Shaylin and Pete Kirsten. I'm just touched that people want to help my children and help us to help them because it's so hard. Having two of your children with a disability, to, to see others that care and can understand and have compassion towards them just really touches us and we're so thankful for what Gratis does. for them to be able to see the dentist that puts them at ease and makes them feel comfortable um, just is priceless and there's nothing I can ever say to repay you or thank you, but we thank you so much for all that you've done and do for these children. Well, Tom, on behalf of my children and other mothers with children with disabilities, I just wanna say thank you so much for approving them and helping the kids here in the Daytona area and all around Volusia County and Florida. Yeah, we, you're more than welcome. We really appreciate it. <laughs> this is um, my family. I'm Shaylin, and this is... Cab. Caleb. And you, sir? Christian. I'm Pete. And that little one's Emma Grace. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most difficult things any parent can ever hear is the report from the doctor that their child has a disability. It's very disheartening. And oftentimes as a father, causes us to wonder what will happen. Are there other people in our community who really care as much about our kids as we do? There's great fear when you have a child with a disability. And it's very good to know that there are people, such as the Grottos, who are not only care in word, but also care in deed and they demonstrate this by providing support for children, specifically my two boys, and getting the dental care that they need. It provides a lot of comfort to me to know that even if I'm not here, there are plenty of souls, good-hearted people, who are willing to step up and take care wherever there's a need. Can you give them a hug? Give them a hug. Can you say thank you? <laughs>